only 406 dollars to be a Moab, a 140 Moab, which is very slow and very, very weak, but the ceramics inside are very fast and very strong. We also get to pick a heal, but I don't think we can get any heal with only 406 dollars. Actually, we could get Gerardo, or we could do though, it's not that much. We're probably gonna have to do some watch here with the glue later on, but for now, we're gonna have to see how popular the actual Moab. We have monkey knowledge on, so we can buy like some of the military house. I think that thing is the best that comes to my mind. Oh, yeah, I forgot that it's really weak, and it only pops out. I think they look like two ceramics, but they're just stacked four ceramics. Is there any way to slow down the ceramics with something that isn't glue? Because glue is probably just gonna whiff it. I think the sniper, I think the sniper slows down the ceramics. Yeah, he does, but not enough. We're actually gonna have to pop them as well. I think there's a balloon. What can pop you with $4.6? Maybe if we could get pin. No, we don't have enough for it. Is it selling? There is indeed selling. Wait, if we get a sniper, no, we cannot get an Irish monkey after that. But we could get a free glue monkey. And we get, it seems like, infinite monkeys. Alright, All right, so I'm gonna get a sniper, then a glue, like, right here. We could actually upgrade the glue, which will be helpful. But how will we actually pop the ceramics? We are actually gonna upgrade the glue this time. So bigger globs and a sticker glue. Alright, so we've got most of them slowed down. Yeah, we've got them slowed down, but what do we do now? We can't actually pop them. I'm thinking it has something to do with some monkey knowledge that I don't know about. I think it's slow for a reason, so what can build up stuff that's not a spike back to because that's not allowed? Maybe someone likes Geraldo, but no, we, we can't get anything from Geraldo. Think, think, which of the heroes can actually do something? Open! His bambos can do something. How much does he cost, though? Probably his under 460. He is 495, so we're not gonna be able to afford him. Alright. Gwendolyn with her level 3 ability. Ooh, and ability cooldowns are reduced. So that yeah, that, that, that definitely has to do something with it. We actually can't get Gwendolyn. Wow, I thought she would be cheaper than Obin. Solar with her blades. And let's pray that she's actually cheaper and that we can actually get her. Yeah, we can. Barely. Okay, so the ability kill does are basically instant. Maybe we could just, like, slice up the ceramics. Right, we're gonna have to put Solar somewhere up front so it doesn't take, like, a million years. And we can get, like, a free glue just because why not? Okay, so it doesn't seem like she did anything with that, but maybe it's the glue's fault. Maybe. Right, okay, so we're gonna try without a glue now. I'm gonna try to time it so it actually hits. Oh, I thought she actually pops every single balloon like that. We're gonna go back to heal, but then we're gonna see what else can do something. Striker Jones with his sun ability might be able to actually do something. Hopefully, he's cheap enough. He is. Not How is he so expensive? I thought Soda was like more expensive than these guys. So I could use her level 3 ability, and that could actually send the balloons. And she's still expensive once again. I might sound insane, but Quincy. Does he know not in good? gets past his bow. I, I thought I might try him. Very unfortunate stuff. Something got past his bow. We're back at the hero world. I don't know who to get. There doesn't seem to be anyone that actually would do something. A door, but I don't, I don't think she would do much. Especially against ceramics. And she's too expensive once again. What can put down stuff? Pike factory is not an option. Oh, there's powers. It... Is that it? Are you supposed to cheat powers in? It's still that is very lame of the crate, to be honest. But no, you can't you can't use powers in like the creating scene. What can like blow back stuff? Maybe an ice with a free dark monkey. That might do something. It would just like slow down all the stomachs. And maybe it will be able to like slow them down twice. It might do something, yeah. Yeah, okay, T no, that, but how, what, how does that help us, actually? I does not, oh. To be honest, I'm out of stuff to actually try out. There's nothing that might actually do something in my house, to be honest. Nothing can slow down, nothing can do anything like that. I've got absolutely no idea what I want. It's something, maybe something like a darling could do. I'm guessing not, though, because, like, yeah, no. It doesn't do nearly, no. It does, like, no damage to ceramics. I know I expected to actually do something, but I didn't. I'm gonna ask my friend if he knows what to do, and then I'll show you guys. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna do the DT dilemma. And since like we were in round 95 and we got quite the specific amount of towers, and we've got no, no, we actually got a limit of T towers on the screen at the same time, and we've got a very specific amount of money. Everything in here is very specific. Alright, well, my first guess will be super mines, and we can actually afford it. Alright, so these get absolutely, absolutely destroyed for me, but mm, it doesn't seem like it's quick enough. Maybe if we put it like here at the back, but no, they, they come out there. So I don't think that's gonna be viable, no. Alright, so the problem is that it's too slow. Which leads me to think that it might be a plain sight. But wait, can you see the T's? Can you actually it can, but we can't actually deal with them after the you know the, the initial strike. Maybe it's kind of will help with more missiles that will absolutely help. Alright, so we've got quite the setup here. And it's actually working out. It actually is. Was that was that just it? Was it that easy? Right, well that was just it. That was like the second try, but we're not gonna then come on, this is easy. If I don't beat this one, then I am a total noob at BT6. If the creator says that it's easy, then it's probably it's around 76. I wonder what it could be. It actually might not be this. Yeah, oh god. Oh no, my, my PC did not enjoy that at all. Right, so we can like de ego with this guy. And I'm, no, he doesn't do much. No, never mind. What about like a spiked mines? Without the ending, hopefully it will. 
and you know it doesn't do much so we should like put it like right here and if we get the bomb cross spike we can actually aim it and it will spill even more spikes no okay we've got the primary expertise why does it always have to be a primary oh i got anything why does it always have to be the primary expertise i just have to not be bad and put it in a, in a good spot no one there you go sonic all right then if we gotta play like that all right Okay, there we go. The primal expertise, as always. The first challenge was like so hard, and now these ones are easy. Paddle pelagic. No, no let, me, let me actually try it. Paddle pelagic pressure V2. What does that even mean? And why are there so many modifiers? What is this? It's a 1% win rate. Now these ones are easy. Alright, I probably shouldn't have spoken like a little bit ago. It's even out of the screen. The modifiers are out of the screen. We're just gonna open it, and hopefully, we'll be able to read it. Alright, so it's around 46, and we've got a max tiers. I guess it's gonna be a little mob, so, right, so we don't get mob more. It's camo ego fortified ceramics. How is the ego like? 1500%, so it's gonna be one shot, definitely. We can de with this guy, we can store them with this guy, and that's. Oh god, they have like low HP, hold on. It's on 35% HP. We got Deadly Mines, that might actually do a trick. I'm pretty sure that does like quite a bit of damage, it should be enough damage. And we don't even need to like de -camo. Hold on, what if we do like Bleatonium Reactor, it can like chip down a bit of damage? Ooh, the other mines is not enough. We've got balloon chop. That's probably it, but we're gonna have to like sell it and rebuy it. Ooh, that's why you have the max tiers. That makes sense now. Uh, what what are you doing? Why did you not decam all that sub? What? Right, so we're gonna have to upgrade the sub. No, not exactly that, but close enough. Oh, 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 I, I need to collect it. Alright, that is definitely a solution. But I'm just dumb. Yeah. Alright, so we're just gonna have to collect it. And it's not okay, okay, okay. Ooh, and it's, we only left one of them. What can we do for a single one? There isn't any selling, so that's not gonna be an option. Okay, so we can put jungle jumps on it, but we don't have a radius counter, so that's not, not gonna work. Maybe jungle jumps on the data spikes. That might make it do something. Absolutely not. Ooh, we got more glades. That might do something, but I'm worried that it will like really go like lazy. We've used all the tears, unfortunately, and that doesn't even pop a single sonic right. Never mind. We're gonna have to put it in like this island, which is not like the best spot, but it's definitely better than this one. Uh, uh, huh? Why were you whiffing so much? What are you doing, Boomerang? I thought you were decent. No, no, even this spot is not decent. What what are you doing, Boomerang? We got up to gold. Would that the end thing? Would that like turn them to gold and just make us forget about them? Probably not, but it's always worth a try. Uh, no, it's not worth a try. Wait, hold on. I've got an idea. What if we just use this guy for the main damage and we just buff him up as much as possible? Oh, no, no, I no, I, I don't, I don't think so. What if we put it here? I'm pretty sure it's the worst spot, but we can always try. Yeah, it's basically the same, actually. Isn't this a better spot? Oh, yeah, this is a way better spot. Still makes them really go like crazy, though. But so I'm just thinking like Blintonian and Bloom Trap. That, I think that will do something. I don't know how much, but it will do something. Like, Blintonium should be able to like chip them down. And that will do a little bit. And yeah, please. No. Okay. What if we put like the bone chop like here? Well, unfortunately, you cannot aim it, so I don't know if that would do anything. Okay, okay, not okay. Let's try to put it like here. I know that's like a dumb suggestion, but it might work out in my favor. Okay, okay, put down a trap now. Not there. I didn't want you to put it there. That was not the spot that I wanted you to put it in. Right there, we go on the right side. Yeah, that's what we wanted. We're going back to plan A. Engineer Monkey right there. And it will do something, hopefully. Yeah. Please, please. And uh, no. Okay. What if here? Yes, here. And it should be able to store them in time. If it doesn't whiff like that, what was that? Right, hopefully now that should be good, yeah? No, I'm going insane with this challenge, dude. Hold on, we could upgrade this, like, on the last Sonic. Okay, but that. And that will probably do a trick, hopefully, yeah? So it actually pops on the Sonic, to T normal Sonics. And it can, like, pin them. Oh, that, that, I, I, that, I didn't get it in time. Five, four. Four, six. I, I couldn't get it. Oh yes, yes, yes. Let's go. All right. That that micro was not not even that great, but you know it, it was decent. It did the job. So we cracked. Yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you smashed that like button and that subscribe button. Anyways, I hope you have a great day.